Hi everybody, my name is Aaron Monson. I'm the director of Veer Visual, and today I wanted to announce the completion and publication of a project we created for the Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department called Be The Change. This project was very unique, written in English and in Spanish, and produced in a six video series from a male perspective, a female perspective, and the two perspectives combined. Charles Lutz, Wayne Gassman, and myself are gonna be breaking down each of the steps that were involved from pre-production to post. My name is Charles Lutz. I'm the post producer for Veer Visual. Hello, my name is Wayne Gassman. I am the director of photography for Gassman Media and I partnered with Veer Visual on Be The Change. This project began in September of 2021. It began when we were sitting at a table and I just said, well, what if it starts out with a kid drawing? Aaron Monson being the creative person that he is, immediately latched onto that idea and within the next week had the entire rough draft of the script written. Fast forward, things got green lit. We ended up clearing the budget with the fire department and we were able to shoot this thing. We had so many volunteers. Bishop Ward High School, Donnelly College. We even had small businesses like JGS Towing and uh, government organizations like the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department involved in the creation of this project. In total, we had about 35 actor and actress volunteers from Bishop Ward High School alone. We even had a lot of crew members involved in this shoot who came out and took reduced rates just to see this project become a success. And we cannot thank them enough. In regards to locations, we chose two schools, a home, and an intersection right outside the station of KCKFD. A lot of creative aspects went into these schools because we want to preserve how beautiful that these places were that we are shooting. Bishop Ward, when we got to the room and they showed it to me, there's a lot of rich wood tones. It's an old school. So immediately, my mind was immediately going to 32K to be more like tungsten, more candlelight look of light. When we went to the Donnelly College, absolutely gorgeous college, windows everywhere, which presents its own set of challenges as you're trying to create and cut light to make creative shapes and make things visually interesting to look at. For our home location, we use the home of Brad Jarvis, another really, really talented colleague of ours here in Kansas City. Without him, we would not have been able to capture the two scenes with our younger subjects. And he has an absolutely beautiful home. Once I saw the space, I knew exactly kind of where I was wanting to shoot things. The living room had a nice wide feel to it. Again, nice hardwood floors, really beautiful bay window. He also had a really nice window on his front door that we were able to shine light through to make a nice cut in a cookie cutter pattern on the wall. On the other side, we flipped the entire world and then we had our female talent. The intricacies of this shot were we we're trying to match shots that we had accomplished the day before. We basically took the screen caps and we had set up the slider, the camera, and our talent to where it was almost gonna be matching. After Charles Lutz had done his VFX magic from the non-colored picture to the colorized picture and then everything else just melted away from it, the shot just turned out. The first time I saw it, I'm like, Holy cow, this is way more beautiful than I even saw it in my head. I knew what he was going for. It turned out absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Really happy with the end product. What we're doing right now is we're working with the Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department to stage a car accident where we're gonna have a jib arm kind of sectioned off swinging over the hoods, exposing the logo on the side of one of the pumper trucks. I'm super excited about it. Um, I know everyone else is, and once this product is released, I really hope that it helps the community recruit people to the fire department to actually save lives eventually. The intersection scene was very intricate. Aaron Monson had it set up so well. I kind of knew it was gonna be a little bit tricky when we were gonna light it. Uh, I came up with hanging a fixture from a ladder truck, which the fire department let us do. We just hung it from the ladder and we just had a lantern, so it kind of lit everything very softly. And then a big thanks to Enola Gay, which is one of my contacts from my past doing airsoft events. They were able to donate a bunch of the smoke grenades so we could simulate that these cars were on fire or were about to be on fire. And then coming back to like the jib operator, Scott Jolly, I've worked with him for years and years. Awesome guy, really great at his craft. And just a big thanks to Vic Dominguez and Ellis and everybody that was out there to help us get this done. My responsibilities on this project were pretty extensive. I was on set sound mixer for this one, as well as all of the post-production. So things get a lot more technical for me when it comes down to the sound. I was in charge of creating everything you heard. 
And from a glance, that might not seem like a lot, but when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, that involves everything from every footstep of every firefighter on screen, to their clothes rustling, to their voices, to the ambience surrounding them, was all added in post, because, well, the original production audio is just not that detailed. First action! The music as well was a pretty heavy undertaking. Everything you heard in the score was played by myself. Uh, that includes the cello, piano, bass, all of that. I layered it up specifically to fit the pacing and kind of tone that we were going for in this particular project. It's nothing new with our work from the fire department. I personally compose every piece of music we deliver to them because I think it gives the project more life than you could ever get from a stock library. This project was an incredibly ambitious effort from the very beginning, and it would not have been possible had it not been for the incredible amount of talent and effort delivered by everybody involved. So we just, from Veer Visual, want to say a humongous thank you to everybody in this project, and we look forward to seeing what we can do in the future.